My name is Les Robler. Um, I'm the director of football or soccer at Worldwide Scholarships. We've been touring South Africa currently um, because of the COVID situation in Africa. But the idea is we will branch out you know, all over to Africa, as many African countries as we, as we can get to. At this stage, the COVID situation hasn't allowed that. So we've concentrated and focused mainly on the South African side of it, just to expose the kids um, to worldwide scholarships and what we have to offer. We're going to Namibia at the end of August. Uh, we've got uh, Kenya, Zimbabwe already lined up as well. That's coming uh, probably in September sometime. And then, yeah, we're looking forward to taking some kids over on, on tour and, and trials. But yeah, the very exciting programs coming up for everybody. So just make sure that you guys keep on going onto your social media sites that, that you look at and just check on WWS and find out when we're doing what and what's happening. Um, everything will be updated on that. We prompt everybody to do the registrations um, timelessly before the event. We kind of stress that we need to get uh, the payment options done, especially if we're traveling a long way away. It costs us a lot of money to, to go to the venues. So we prompt people to pay, to register and pay before the event so we can at least get a, um, an indication of the kind of numbers that, we, that we're expecting. Bearing in mind COVID don't allow um, more than certain people on outdoor events. Depending on the size of the facility that we're using, that also limits us to how many applications we can take um, at any given time. If you pay and register, at least you know you have booked a spot. If you pitch up on the day and you want to do everything on the day, there may not be um, space for you to do that. And also, it affects the planning of each, of each event and by doing the registrations and by doing the payment timelessly that gives us the, the right indications of, of what we need to expect and what we are expecting when we go to each city that, that, that we visit. So one of the reasons why um, Worldwide Scholarship are forming this academy is to expose the kids to what they need to be able to be exposed to when they go overseas. So we will up the training, we will give them the proper, the proper basic training that they need. We will get them the whole infrastructure of what it takes to adjust. Um, we will even, as far as going to, they will do Italian um, as a language. Um, we, we will teach them the basic Italian so that they can at least communicate and understand what's going on. Also the training. So with the training, we, we are not going to have local coaches that are going to do the training. Maybe ultimately that will happen, but in the beginning, the Italian coaches will come out and they will conduct the coaching sessions and what happens on the field of play and just generally what happens as an Italian footballer in Italy will go through. Um, that process should close the gap hugely to making us send players that are capable now of going overseas and making and making it there. The players that we're looking for are players that have got a very good technical knowledge of the game. So their basic um, individual skills need to be good. The scholarship side of it, then the academics comes into it. So when the academics comes into it, and now you've got to have a combination of both. The nice combination with that, the nice fitting with that, is that the players can adjust to what they need to do and how you know, they're going to play in the American universities. So they don't necessarily have to be a professional quality player, but as long as their basic football ability is very good, they have a very good opportunity of doing that. So what we try and do is the earlier we can get the players in, we can work with them and develop what they need to develop on the football side to get them through. At the same stage, we're then stressing the point that the better your academics, the better the bursaries you can get, the better the scholarships you can get. We need to identify the weaknesses of what the players have and we need to correct those weaknesses and make them better. And that gives them the opportunity then of going to America and being successful.